I had a lot of fun modeling a toaster last night. And tonight I'm going to do another toaster. I'm on a bit of a toaster kick, I guess. So I'm switching over to Cycles Render. And yes, I may put that in a startup file sometime so I don't have to do it every time for you. But here we go. All right, well, screencast keys are on. I'm gonna select everything and delete. I'm gonna hit three and make sure I'm in right ortho view. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Hit Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna stick with the default values. Go to Edit Mode and Wireframe and Vertex, and I'm going to box select or border select and delete all those vertices, uh, sort of half and that half, and uh, let's come up here and get that one or two. And let's go look at the top, and I'm going to box select all of these ones get rid of them and I also want to get rid of that one there so hopefully I just have that let's look from the side let's gonna shrink that down scale in the Z nice and reasonably flat scale this in the Y as well let's look from the front view and we're also gonna scale that in the X I'm supposed to could have scaled it completely I suppose um, we're gonna be mirroring this so let's uh, give that a start here like that and in the Y and uh, we're just going to form, you know, like the, the top part of the, of the toaster. And it's a little tricky to get the dimensions that I want. So I'm just going to give it a try and see how it turns out. I'm going to hit apply. Go back in edit mode and then shift alt and click that edge and that edge and go control E bridge edge loops. And I'm going to do the same on this one. Control E bridge edge loops. And hopefully these are straight enough so I can just I'll just do that there and on this side I guess it's a lot like the sci-fi pod I did okay let's select it all let's look down okay let's scale this in the X um, yeah well you know and the toast is gonna be in there on the other hand yeah well that's fine let's scale in the Y as well and might as well scale in the Z let's do it every direction Okay, so let's go back into solid view and shift alt and click that edge. And I'm going to hit E to extrude. I'm going to bring it down. Oh, time out. I'm just looking at this thing and I'm thinking. Um, maybe I want to make this a little bit narrower. If that's the word, you know, like this kind of thing. Also, get rid of that. And then I'll mirror it. Uh, where am I going? I'll apply it. Let's see. I'll, uh, I'll get rid of those edges again. I'm still working on this. Okay, so where were we? Let's grab that edge. And uh, I think I just extruded it down. So control 7, look from the bottom, and E and S, bring it in. It's pretty equal. E, and I'm going to bring it down a little bit. So this is just going to be the head section, all right? That of the uh, toaster. You know, and really when I do look at it, it does look a little bit wide. So. Let's do that. Yeah, didn't do much, but anyways. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, select that edge, which is a basic perimeter of it there, Shift D and P, break it out, make it a new object on its own, and I bring it down, that's gonna make the next uh, section. Go into it, E, and I'm gonna extrude down a ways. Okay, I'm going to grab this edge, E, and I'm going to just scale it in, just so that when those join. Okay, let's uh, select it all and control N to flip polys. So I'm going to have that section and that section. You know, like this would come up here kind of thing. I'm going to have a little gap in between. And I'm going to do the same kind of thing down here. I'm going to select that shift D and P, break it apart. Let's say origin and geometry on that. Let's just move that down for the moment. 
because I want to do something else. I want to grab that edge and E and S and bring it in a little bit and E and I'll bring it down. And hopefully I got it. Yeah, okay, that's probably all right. Okay, and uh, for this part, I'm just going to bring it down a little ways like that. And uh, I'll bring this one in as well, just like that. Actually, I think this piece, I think I want to scale this like that, scale it in the X as well. So it's underneath. And so what I might do is I'm going to lengthen it, first of all. And then I'm going to come back to this guy. E and S, and I'll do that kind of thing so that they definitely seem to meet. Okay, so far so good. So let's go ahead and put on a subdivision surface on this. And there's other things to do on that. Okay, yeah, corners sometimes can be a little weird. I'll do the same here. Same here. Yes, yes, yes. And let's come back up to this guy. And um, that control R, put an edge loop there. Uh, actually, let's get rid of that. Hide that. Is there anything else? No. That's probably all right. Alt H. Let's take this guy. Let's hide that. Loop here. I could actually just bevel that. But I'll bring it up, make it relatively sharp. And uh, down here, oops. Let's see what I've done here. I've got something extra here. I don't know. Maybe I just need to do that. I think that's probably okay. This might not be quite sharp enough. So those would fit together, and then this really actually doesn't need to be. Uh, whoops, uh, control seven. on this guy at least there yeah that's fine with me okay I want to come back up to here where I'm going to make the toaster part and I'm going to E and S just come in once like that scale in the X so I get a relatively flat part and then I'm going to extrude downwards and then this is a pretty sharp edge all around, so I'm going to bevel this control B, pull back, and put a couple of segments in there. I may have only got one in there, but that would probably be enough to soften it a little bit. Okay? And then I'm going to shift alt and click that edge, and I'm going to use that. Now shift D, P, make a new object of it. Now here's the thing, folks. If I go into edit mode, and look at this. This has got a subdivision surface, a lot of vertices. I'm going to make this an end gone because I want to do a Boolean on it and it's going to look fine. So I'm going to hit F. I'm going to get rid of the subdivision surface. I'm going to hit E to extrude and I'm going to pull down a good waist. Flip the polys and I'm going to push this down. And this is going to make a surface. I'm going to scale it a bit to make sure that it fits you know, inside this space. I want to do a Boolean on this, and it's a good surface to do a Boolean to cut away. And I just don't feel like cutting away in subdivision surfaces right now. I want to, I want you to do it this way. So with that selected, origin of geometry, shift S, cursor to selected, shift A, bring it a plane. And let's, uh, let's look at it this way, scale. Okay, let's uh, scale this in the X. Make the size uh, slits I want. Scale them in the Y for the toast. 
scale that in the X. Okay, hit. Oh, what did I do? Well, E, and I'm going to push it way down. And I'll flip my polys. Now let's make sure I can get two of them in there. And I'm going to round this. Self so select uh, that edge, that edge, that edge, and this edge. Control B. Put a few segments in there like that and then I'm going to click mirror and uh, with respect to that piece there and uh, let's see if I can push it out just a bit more so that's where I'm going to make my slices okay I'm leave a little bit of space here maybe for a bolt or something cool I'm going to apply that so I'm going to select that face and boolean difference with this and I know it works, so I'll delete those and you'll see some nice cuts. But let's do a little bit more on this, not that guy. On this, let's shift alt and click the edges. Let's shift alt and click those edges all the way around. Now notice I selected this edge right here, deselect that, just the outer edges. Okay, control B, pull back, one, two, three, give it a few segments, not too big. Okay, have a look at that. Now I'm going to put smoothing on and goes crazy. So I'm going to select that face and that face, and I'm going to hit E, just accept it, and that's it. And that will look fine, but it is a little bit tight in there. It was just, you know, the way that it the design ended up working. Um, you know. I don't want the bread to be too thin, so it's just, you know, trial and error, okay? Yeah, I'm disappointed in, in that, uh, that there's not more space. Well, let me see. Maybe, 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 maybe I can do something about this. Uh, why couldn't I, eh? if I put an edge loop there and there and... Uh, select and pull it out I can make that space bigger um, I'm gonna get rid of all these and we're going to now let's get rid of the subdivision surface too and let's just mirror the thing the clipping I think I made it narrower you know earlier we'll apply that and let's go in and let's Let's get rid of that, um, if possible. And we'll put the subdivision surface back on. Make sure it's okay, and then let's see. Yeah, I should be able to do something with this wireframe, maybe. Yeah. How about this way? I think I got everything scale in the X. Well, I made it wider, but I don't know if I like that actually. I don't think I do. So what I'll do is I'm just going to grab just the outsides. Oh, uh, geez. How do I do that? Um. Let me think about this for a second. I guess I didn't have, yeah, no, that's not quite it, is it? Well, it doesn't really matter. I get, um, okay. I got just what I would want. It's an episode. Mm, well, it's a good thing to, to, to go through anyhow. Let's see if I got what I need. There you go. 
now that I did that, everything else has to get uh, changed. Uh, okay, we'll scale this in the X. Let's hope we can get it to fit like a, you know, piece of uh, an appliance. It doesn't fit perfectly. Okay. I think that's okay. <laughs> now the whole thing looks uh, wrong to me, so I can scale the whole thing a bit. All right. Well, there you go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is from the back, control one, I'm going to come over here. And very similar to the last one, I'm going to put an edge loop, say up to there, and one right in the middle. And I'm just going to select these two faces and um, delete them. And then I'll put an edge loop down. And um, let's see, maybe I will. Uh, Oh, is it on a round part? Oh, sh can I scale this in the X without affecting any curvature? I think I can. That would be where the electrical cord comes out. All right. And um, yeah. And let's do something on the side three. And then I'm going to put an edge loop here. And I'll go control B and just make a really small, well, I'll do it like that. And then I'm gonna select, uh, actually I'm gonna put an edge loop here. I don't wanna go all the way to the bottom. Select this face and I'd inset and bring it in nice and small. Let's hit the period key to focus on that. E, bring it in a little bit. E and I'll bring it in a lot more. X, I'm gonna get rid of the faces actually. And uh, let's do the at the same time. Let's uh, control our two edge loops and scale these in the Z right up to near the top. And we'll also go like this. And we should get it decent. Okay, and I'll go on the inside as well. Go on there. Oh. So that could be where my sliding thing will go. So let's do that something anyhow for that i'm just going to select an edge that goes all the way around symmetrical shift s cursor to selected and bring in a um, cube maybe i could do this really simply uh, that's not what i want to do let's scale this in the x and in the z i make the approximate thing imaging that i would want and then maybe I can just, um, I'll do two, scale in the Y. And um, let's do two here. Actually, I think I'm going to scale this in the Z. This is, you're not gonna, ever going to see this anyhow. Um, I'm going to go E and extrude just a little bit, E and a bunch more like that and get rid of that face. I'm gonna select the whole thing and rotate Y 180. Face it back inwards. I will go in like that. And I know I'm gonna need more edge loops up here because I'll put on a subdivision surface. So I'll need them in a bunch of uh, places. But uh, for now, we'll go with that. And then, it's very boring, but like this. And we'll need, uh, we'll actually, uh, yeah, I'll need need something up here and down there and uh, towards the ends and yeah it's just a typical thing imaging actually let's shift H so we isolate that and uh, put an edge loop down here not that we're gonna, ever going to see this but you know just so I know what's there I'm gonna tighten it up and hold H bring that back I don't care about the inside and that would go in there. And then, I mean, you know, depending on what kind of uh, detail you wanted to do on it, it looks rather small. Oh well. Maybe something like that. Is that too small for that, that thing? Hmm. What if I made it bigger? And then I have to make the hole bigger. Yeah, it needs to be like about that big, doesn't it? All right, 
Okay, let's see if this can be done then. Oh, uh, sure it can. Okay, so let's uh, scale this in the Y. Uh, we'll get that. Eight. All right, that's all right. Let's uh, grab these ones then. I hope I'm not deforming the mesh. We're going to find out. We are going to find out. Maybe a little bit. Oh, it didn't need to come out that much. Okay. How much does it need to come out? Well, maybe just to there. Scale in the water. Let's just try that. Well, you know what to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a bit narrower. How about that? That might be easier than messing around with that. If I can. Let's see if I got enough of it. Scale out in the Y. Make a little dial, very similar to uh, the previous one. 24 vertices is fine. And rotate Y at 90. Let's go E and S. E, and bring it out, scale it a bit. E and S, E, and bring it in. And we'll scale it a bit as well. And you know your choice of filling. I'm going to do it that way. And then on the uh, let's bring it out. And then for the back part, E and bring it in. E and S. Is that right? Yeah. S. E and bring that back. Now I'm going to put a subdivision surface, so I'm going to need some edge loops in here. So I'm going to put them on right now. Some of them. And I'm going to bevel this right here because I'm going to need that. Put one segment there. And the same is going to be up here. Whoops. This edge and this edge. Control B just, just with one segment. And I'm going to put an edge loop down on there. And let's see how much I've done here. So division two and smooth. Yeah, I need one right in here. Not there. Right here. Too tight. I don't like it super, super tight. Well, that's probably good enough. I might want one there as well. Let's uh, set the origin of geometry and let's see what it would be like if that was there. Okay, and then I'll do what I did before. I will select all these faces, shift alt and click those faces, I, I twice, and just get a region that I like, like that, and then I'm going to hit E and Alt S and pull away so that they stick out. Not too much. I'm sort of looking over here for the height. And then put an edge loop right there near the top and near the bottom. You know, for sort of like these hand grip type things. Okay. Uh, you know, you can put an arrow on this if you want. This looks too small on a huge um, toaster. So what if that was there? And well, you know, the main thing I wanted to show was the, the body of this thing. And uh, it still looks too big to me. I think I want to select it all, but deselect, well, Let's take these two things and hide them, and then A to select everything, and I think I, I really, I'm having troubles with the, the scale of this thing. <laughs> I want to change it in every dimension, which probably just brings it back to whatever. Okay, bring those back, and uh, we'll see. Oops. Push that in. Uh, that's 
one of the reasons that was looking odd to me. I mean, I suppose you could have two of these, and maybe they do different things. It's like a radio now. That sort of looks a bit better to me. I don't know, my notes. And, um, yeah. Let's look from the front. Let's select everything, and let's bring it roughly to the ground. Um, let's bring the cursor down to there. Shift A, mesh, plane. Um, for the moment, I'm just going to put a quick material on here. Like that. And let's bring in a camera. View. And let's look through. Home button to maximize. Zero to turn that off. And uh, well, hmm. yeah, I guess it seems small. Bring in the sun. We'll make this uh, zero point four and the strength of uh, four with a bit of a yellowish light. And you click on the world and use nodes and environment texture and open and find an HDR texture on the internet. I'm gonna go with this uh, Miranda one again. And let's look and let's just look without any materials yet. Okay, let's start to see the toaster there. Let's uh, T and T and go into the node editor here. And on the top part here, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna take the light and this and this, and I'm gonna move them to another layer. Okay, so back to this. You know, I think maybe this, I made this small relative to everything else, so I'm just gonna hit S and scale everything up. Um, come over here and get both of these layers. I think that might be more of what I want. I'm just gonna scale that up. Shift Z is the shortcut key to do that, and there's my. Okay. Anyways, back to this, and uh, I'm gonna click New. And I'm going to be following uh, this part, toaster top. All right, and I'm not gonna use the principal shader. I'm gonna use some mix shader. So I got some mix shader. I want two of those connected to the diffuse. So let's just cut that and uh, go, uh, yeah. Let's just go control a barrel so we maximize that. Shift A, shader, mix, and Shift D to copy that. And that's gonna go in and that's gonna go in, and that's gonna go in. All right, diffuse into the first shader. Ah, oh, maybe that's the second. And I want a glossy up here going into the first. All right, so what am I saying here? I think this is what I'm saying. And I want this at 0 0.007, I think. I could be wrong. Oops, that's kind of what it's going to look like. Okay, in fact, 0 0.85 or so. 0 0.85 or so. And we want, we want, let's do this glossy. Okay, and then the colors glossy and a Fresnel. So let's take this one, shifty. That's going to go in there, and uh, input for now is going to go in here, and I think I had this set around 2. 
and the glossy is just going in there with the action. See, I was going into the roughness there. These are still uh, set properly, aren't they? Okay. So now I can set my colors roughly. I wanted sort of a, a little gray and gray. I believe this one's a darker gray, but I could be wrong. Darker to slightly lighter. And then just two more. Um, we need the, uh, what is it, uh, Voronoi texture with uh, on cells. And somewhere around like 500 or 750. I'll, I'll even split the difference, I'll call it 600. Okay, and into a gamma. Where is that going to be? There it is. Oh, the color to color. And I believe that's color to color. It could be wrong. Uh, fact to gamma. Oh, yeah, that's going to the wrong spot. Uh, okay. Uh, this should be fact. Cut that. Fact to... There. That color, I believe, goes to this fact here. Do I have it right? That's white. That's white. Let's go have a look. Control down arrow. Shift Z. For preview. Okay, now I don't have my light set up very very well, but uh, you can see that. your base and I think what I did here is I just use the same material so let's do this let's go over to the materials here and I'll call this um, top and let's copy this and let's call this I don't know mid if you want uh, okay this one well, this one is top and this one is going to be mid and on this one I'm going to try just switching the color so I want to Sort of dark red and a lighter red. I mean, I may or may not do it. Let's switch over to material. Let's make it red, but let's just do it that way. Oh, cool. Wow. Let's go a little bit lighter than that. And let's go even brighter there. Wow, I'll give that a try. <laughs> okay, and by the way, uh, let's make this uh, the top. Uh, and I don't know if I'm going to put a bolt in there or not. So, uh, we'll see how that works. Okay, and then um, uh, what did I want to do for the base? This is black with a glossy. Okay, so let's do that. There we go. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Uh, I got the principal to, uh, to a mix. Let's not do that. Black color coming out into the first, and the second is glossy. I don't know if you're never supposed to like make glossies anything other than white, but I don't know. And what about the roughness? I bet that's. Uh, yeah, 0 0.02, yeah, right, for sure, 0 0.02, that's gonna, and let's see in my principal shader, I got met metallic 0 0.6 and 0 0.4, let's do something, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, you yeah, don't mess with these values, that's the right, uh, yeah, okay, and layer weight, into the fact, oh yeah, Now into there, and uh, what do I want to 
gonna set that as uh, left at. Okay, so let's have a peek at that and see what that's looking like. Okay, I think I'll we'll have to do some adjusting. So I think I'm gonna use that though that base stuff for these. I could be wrong, but uh, let's look through the camera. Nice and shiny. I think this red. Yeah, I, I do like it, but yeah, a little bit more like that. And um, I was thinking of just putting that silver in there too. Control plus. Do I want to do that? Probably do. Yeah, I'll do it like that. Hit a sign and put that material in there just to get a sense of if I like that. I hope I do. First of all, let's bring that up. And second of all, let's bring that up. I might do that. more lights but just for the moment you get a sense of what that looks like so let's let's do that it might be all I need to do for this video you can put a bolt there uh, I'm gonna just set this at um, I'll do 75 and for sampling I'll do 250 and denoising and we'll let it render and then we'll we'll check it out Okay, a couple things. Uh, first of all, I added just another area light. And uh, this is not, you know, the final lighting that you would want to use. But you can see that the the Engon thing that I used with the Boolean, you know, works out pretty well. Materials look okay. Um, but the lighting's not great. And I do have a little bit of a, a crease here. And so I probably would just adjust uh, the position of the rendering and, uh, you know, hope that doesn't show up. It doesn't really show up much there. Just, you know, in a bit of a, you know, between where the light and the dark is. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to show you another method you could use to, to make a, a toaster or something like that.